because Goody Baby is the reader, is the role model, is the role, is the. And I'm back with another vlog, period. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Before we go anywhere, just do that for me. Thank you. I appreciate you. I received it. Okay? Now, but, um, today we is on our way to Target in a grocery store, y'all. I have to take something back. I bought something in, and girl, I just cannot. I can't fit it. It's like big as hell on me. So, I'm gonna take that back because the other day when we was in here with me and my mom and Rachel, I had bought something and um, I'm like, I'm gonna take it back to the store. Like, if I can't fit it because I really didn't want to try it on. Girl, tried it on, couldn't fit it. It was big as hell. So, here I am because he seen all my Target bags yesterday. So, girl, you know the vibes with him. This is last Target run before his birthday, though. He won't set foot in a Target none October. Like, no. I'm not gonna have nothing to give him if I keep this up. So, this is our last Target run. And then I'm strictly starting on birthdays. Like, literally. When your birthday? Why you put them damn band-aids on my window? Oh my goodness, he has been acting like a an a-hole today. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Period. And we about to get it going. Yeah, I need to get birthday cards and um and then get to the grocery store. So this is not gonna be long in here at all because I was just in here. He just wants something, of course. So that one? Okay, put it in the car so we can go. Okay, come on, babe. Oh, this is so cute. Santa's Village. I got Seinfeld or Friends. I love Legos. The way I used to be obsessed with Winnie the Pooh when I was younger is crazy. Oh, these are gorgeous. I'm gonna put these together in my house. I'm gonna put them together and have them in my house. Those are so cute. Down there. Look down there. Yeah. Go take a picture back. Wow. Say cheese. Say cheese. Put your foot down. Look at mommy. Say cheese. Cheese. Cheese, sir. Cheese. Smile. No. <laughs> she fishing, boo. She had the little fish stand. Ta da! How 
little bit. Trying to make everything work itself out is crazy. So I'm about to moisturize my face, y'all. This is another vlog. Get ready with me. Let's go to fuck out. That's what this is. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm having like a little bit of a stressful day. <laughs> Already. Already. Because my village is busy, like. Everybody got stuff they need to do. I'm gonna make it work though. I don't have no other choice but to make it work, so it is what it is. Hey y'all, hey what's goody? Let's get into this makeup. We already kicked this video off, so if you're right here watching me moisturize my face, stress the fuck out, girl, just subscribe already. Just don't make the day more stressful, sis. Just subscribe. So, um, yeah, I'm going out. I'm taking Pinky out um for her birthday and i am going out with my literally childhood friend like tracy has been my friend since the second grade <laughs> um she's like yeah she's been like my inseparable when we was in the second grade second third grade like inseparable so um we is going out today smoke some hookah get her get a little lurch a little lunch and yeah so i'm gonna have to just beat my face and get myself together because honestly i feel like in my in my soul <sighs> i'm gonna be doing a lot of driving today so with that being said because um i'm going to grab everybody which is grow <laughs> bitch you know if I can get in the car with somebody I'm gonna get in so I'm gonna grab everybody um so we'll see but I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna do my makeup really pretty and quick cause we're gonna go out I told everybody like 132 so it's kinda early I really need to make sure my ducks is in a row though that's all holy oh my god y'all i know y'all been seeing <laughs> girl earlier this week to what erica bank up okay because i'm pretty sure y'all seen it if not um literally hashtag erica bank so that you will know what i'm talking about so she was in her close friends y'all and she ended up leak well it ended up being like i guess screen recorded leak you know the whole nine that she said Girl, I gotta play it because it's so funny. I have to play it, y'all. Hopefully, I don't. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted. But I need y'all to hear, like, what's what's going on in America right now. <laughs> I really need y'all to hear it. So she said, basically, she was just talking like, you know, you gotta be a certain type of way. It gotta be a certain type of standard. Um, yada yada yada. Damn, I cannot find it today. Hold on, I got it in my other phone. 
it was like in the beginning of this week as well, so. Here. Let me paint a certain type of look. If she don't look how I want her to look physically, I don't want her to come. Because the look of everything is so important to me. Like, if she ain't thick enough, no. Her not being good enough, no. Can't dress, no. <laughs> uh, skinny, no. <laughs> and it's like, I don't feel like I'm discriminating. I just want a certain type of look. She could be the sweetest girl I ever met in my life. But if she don't look the part, I don't want her to come. Like, that's just not the vibe I'm on. Now, she can come to the cookout. She can come to a listening party. But the club, I feel like got to look a certain way to come. Hey. Girl, when I say I can't, I mean it. Mm. <laughs> I can't. So, yeah, that happened. Um, she said she need her friends. Well, she didn't. Honestly, she never was specific when she said friends. Because, I'm going to say this. She said you need to look a certain way if you come to the club with me. So, sis, what you partying with? Strangers? Like, all my friends don't look the same. We not shaped the same. Girl, I got friends that's fucking green, that's purple, that's orange. So, I be like I'm having a party, but the green and the purple people can't. I don't like my friends. that I don't like people that's green and purple who cannot come. Like, baby, that's, that is discriminating at its finest. As soon as you start to point out what you like and don't like and who can sit with you and who can't it's a problem sis it's 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 lame as hell for one because oh lord it is so lame because we are all grown as hell like we should be at the age where we have friends set in stone don't get me wrong we can always make new friends but the friends that you have that are set in stone, sis, I'm pretty sure they are all not the same height. They are all not the same size. They all don't have their hair a certain way. They all don't have the same complexion. Like, let's be serious here. And then she says, to the club. Sis, it's the fucking club. Like, you act like Barack Obama in this bitch. It's the club. Like, any and everybody can party with me in the club. Uh, my friends, bitch, I meet friends. That's, I meet people, like strangers. You know how it be when you go to the bathroom and, bitch, you meet you a friend in the bathroom. Like, bitch, you look good. Uh, like, just, like, it's just a vibe in the club. So, for how to put, like, <laughs> limitations, <laughs> limitations and expectations on people that she wants to party with her, it's, it's like, borderline weird. It gives off like a bad energy. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's so fucking lame. Because how, how, this is what I be talking about when people be huh, just acting like they that. It gets to the point where it's just like humble yourself. Like, you're not really that. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're not that. Girl, that is like like and by me saying like you're not like that it's like sis i'm i'm not here to knock no bitch down but you gotta look in the mirror you gotta look in the mirror sometimes and you gotta be like i can stand next to whoever and be truly confident she talking about no skinny bitches like why you don't want the skinny girls with you I love the skinny girls, the big girls. This is the thing. The club, like, I keep saying the club because it's like, it's the fucking club. Like, <laughs> bitch, who you think for to be in there? Like, don't get me wrong. Okay, she got her little rapper cloud and XYZ, but bitch, it's the club. Like, everybody is in the club. That's basically what I'm saying. Like, it, it's nothing special. It's nothing special. It's the club. It's cracking. 
big bitches throwing that, skinny bitches shaking it. Like, sis, it's the fucking club. She say hair a certain way, makeup a certain way, like, tens across the board. But your energy is not even giving tens across the board. So it's just like, woo, the world we live in. And, and, and Twitter was eating her ass up. Honestly, a little bit of everybody was eating her ass up. Because this is the time when people deserve it. Like, come on now. How shallow can you fucking be? Um, but yeah, they were saying like, this is what goes on. Like, she said it, but girls link up because, oh, she's pretty. Let's go out. You just linking up with pretty bitches. Not bitches that got no standards. Not bitches that's, you know, like, be, be, be outside the club. Like, what is it giving? You get what I'm saying? Like, you just want somebody that's making you look good as a hoe. But sis, these are not even your people. Like, I wouldn't even want to go outside with her after some shit like that. Even if I was her friend. I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't want to go outside with your sis. I don't want to be outside with people like that. Uh-uh. Like, if them your real friends, like, also for real, for real shit, gotta dress a certain way, hair gotta be the same way, if them your real friends and you know you want everybody looking cute for the club and you feel like, you know, sis need a little bag to complete her outfit or, you know, you need to run the flat arms through her bones straight to get it back right again, then why the fuck wouldn't you just be like, well, come over here before we leave so if you need anything, I can help you out. It's like, it just, it's giving mean girl. And I'm telling you now, Mean Girl, bitch, it's a movie. Like, it happens in real life, but how old are we? Ugh, it's so, it's so irritating. It's just like, how old are we? To the point where we telling people like, you gotta look a certain way to hang with me. Cause which I don't, I literally, like, I swear y'all, I do not care. I could truly care less about how people look that hang with me because we here for a good time, bitch. We, we having a great time off energy alone. I don't give a fuck about what you got on. At least you tried. Like, dead ass, I'm just happy you came. You get what I'm saying? I was just saying this the other day to my client because she was so mad. That um, that like one of one of her people that she invited out didn't come, or two of them or some shit. And it's just like she was so mad. Oh, and I'm like, well, you worried about the people that didn't show up? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't worry about the people that don't show up for me. I'm literally happy that people took the time. Because that's the thing. We grown as hell now. Not to get off topic. Because the Erica Banks situation is just a mess as a whole. Truly drop below. How do y'all feel about that? Are y'all like that? Like, I want my friends to look a certain type of way. You know, like. But she didn't even say friends. And that's what it's like. Is you just linking up with some random dick bitch? Like, what's going on? You get what I'm saying? So, let me know how y'all feel about that situation. Please, like, please drop below. I don't care if you have to comment again, sis. I need to know how you feel about that shit because it had me so tight. I'm just like, what the fuck? So, long story short, moving on to this second part because it's just like, Everybody always worried about the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, my client was a little upset because, well, not really upset, but she was calling people like, ah, ah, motherfuckers was calling her. And that's what I don't like either when motherfuckers just be adding fuel to the fire. People call her like, yeah, why such and such wasn't there and this is then the third. One thing about me and two things for sure. I promise to God, I'm not worried about nobody that didn't show up. I'm too busy enjoying the people that took the time out of their life. This is what I'm saying, because we're growing this hill now. Took the time 
out of their life because life be life and bitch we don't know if our friends got money at the same we don't know if mentally they in a in a good space to turn up if they in a good space to pull up if they got gas in their car bitch it's already ten dollars a gallon we don't know if they going through their own shit like we just so worried about why they didn't come through oh i'm mad now because such and such didn't show up and i showed up for her is your friendship a tit for tat thing or is it just like you know what let me be mindful that we're all grown and we all go through shit people be like well they knew my birthday was xyz you don't think shit happens like shit happens you get what i'm saying so it's like you have to pay attention to the people that is there for you and stop channeling that fucking energy on the people that's not. Maybe you need to call your friend like, damn, you all right? Woo woo, because bitch, I missed you at the get together. Or I missed you when we went out, but you, like why you couldn't make it? What's up? You need me to pull up? Like, honest to God, that's me. That's how I am. Because I know shit can happen. If, if but if I'm if people that I invite are known for really pulling up for me and showing up for me, and then they don't, that's not for me to be mad about, honestly. Because I know if it was some real life or death shit, this same person would be here for me. So like coming out for a little girl's day or missing one of my birthday events, that type of shit does not, you know, make me feel like oh this bitch not my friend. That's that's fucked up. She did not pull up. For like that shit is childish. But grown as hell. Like, let me call her. Shit, is she good? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even that deep. But I feel like people will, you know, switch like switch the gears from it being a happy moment to now you're upset about the people that did the show when you surrounded by the motherfuckers that's here right now and you can worry about that later. You get what I'm saying? It's just weird. I don't like people like that. I don't. Because everybody real life be having their own shit going on. And as you grow older, that is just what the fuck it is. Like, it's a great time when me and all my friends link up. It's a it's a it's a fucking ball, y'all. I love when me and all my friends link up. Like literally, when all of us together, it is nothing but a good time. But when one person can't make it, yeah, yeah I'm reaching out. I'm always gonna reach out, bitch, because I pull up on you. If you didn't want to be bothered with the group as a whole, bitch, I pull up on your ass separate. So Everybody got their shit going on though. And it's not even as if like you didn't want to be bothered. Bitch, you probably just got off work. You tired. I was ready to turn up with her, but bitch, I'm tired now. Because that's me. I ain't going to say I'm a send off, but I will tell. <laughs> I will definitely let you know. All right, girl. I'm not going to be able to make it. I, I, I will. All right, I'm not going to be able to make it. Like that day with Pinky, I was supposed to pull up on her, but Rachel was fucking stuck at the fucking Palmer Hotel in room 306 at Julia's bachelor party. It's just like, I kept in contact with Pinky because that was my goal. Like, I would never want people to feel like I'm just sending them out type shit. But shit happens. Literally, shit happens. Because I was on my way to turn up with Pinky and Rachel called me. So, shit happens. Like, that's the world that we're living in. We're grown adults. We're grown as hell. When, when people don't make it, it's like, did you, did you die? You know? <laughs> like, did you, are we still here talking? Like, it's not that deep. That's basically what I'm saying. So, I'm about to carve out these eyebrows. Please let me know how y'all feel about that situation. And I got, like, a couple of more topics to talk about. Once I finish snatching these, so we'll be back, sis. <laughs> the tip came off, y'all. Okay. So let's do these brows real quick. I'm doing so good on my timing. I have to time out everything because, ugh.
Okay, my little package is out for delivery. Love that for us. Love that. I think this one is coming to that. But long story short, let's get into these brows. Real quick, y'all. It is so early. Like, when I tell you the early bird gets the worm, it is early. It's 1038 right now. But this is how fast time goes because right now, I don't know if somebody is going to be able to pick my baby up and drop him off. So, I might have to do that. You get what I'm saying? And still, you know, make it out with my people. It's not a big thing, but it's like, bitch, you just got to be prepared. You got to be prepared. And I already set the date. So, it's like, I'm not canceling. I still want to go out type shit. So, let's get these brows literally snatched. Okay, I did a good job on my brows today. Girl, where's your girl? A new job. I swear to God, she keep a job. She's like fucking, what's the name of mine? Um, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to finish washing it. She was confident that his is broke at so no, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. And no, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, don't want none of your time. And no, I don't want no scrub. Oh, 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 oh. 
Facebook the other day just being you know in the mix chair trying to see what's been going on on that I do get on that occasionally but it's never like full out because y'all know how I feel about Facebook that shit is ghetto and this this little status I came across was ghetto as hell but they got a picture of Regina Hall circulating around and um yeah she's 50 years old love Regina Hall down that's my girl and she don't have no kids so the amount of comments under there was sickening and the shit that people were saying was sickening dude so the thing just said this is regina hall ladies 50 with no kids don't be like her how she a black successful young woman at that because 50 is not fucking old i'm almost 50. but it's just like the audacity of people, of men, of just the world to be like, well, you need to have kids. You have to have... Who's to say that lady want kids? Who's to say that if she wants a kid right now, with her being as wealthy as she is, that she couldn't have somebody carry a child for her? That she couldn't adopt? That she couldn't do whatever she wanted to do that would fulfill her life? You know what I'm saying? It's just so weird. Girls are something they're like, yeah, she should have been here them kids when she was up in, um, she should have been here them kids when she was up in best man and girl, she, she had the peak of her career. Why the fuck would she have some kids? Don't get me wrong, y'all. I got, I got my own kid. But when it comes to me telling people like about motherhood, about if they should go on here, I always be like, you ain't got to have no kids right now. It's no rush to have no kids because... Kids are a true, honest to God blessing. You know what I'm saying? I want more kids. But when you have the kid, you have to make sure that you're having your kid for you. You can't be like, well, we're going to be the perfect family and this is and a third. Like, you really have to have your kid for you. Honest to God. Um, Love my baby to death. Can't wait to give him, si can't wait to give him siblings. And it's just like... Why y'all putting, girl, putting this on Regina? Like, let, let, let her be. If she want to be 70 with no kids, then that's what my sis did. And lived a great life, I'm pretty sure. Not everybody wants kids. Not everybody wants kids. If you have one, some people be one and done, like, it just, it is what, what it is. I don't feel like, especially a dude, should be talking about some, don't be like this, ladies. Like, nigga, please. Like, who don't want to be looking good at 50? And if she chooses not to have no kids, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Successful. It is what it is. I hate that. And I always feel like not everybody wants kids. Like, stop trying to put kids on people. Stop it. But that's my question when asking that. Do you feel like since we are women, we are able to reproduce that we should at least have a kid? Like one. Before we leave. Because honestly... That's that's something that I want. Like I want to have a baby. I want to have more so that he's not alone. Um, but once you have your first child and shit just don't work out how you know you thought it would or it was supposed to, it'll kind of change. You know, um, the way that you view certain you know 
things and your timing about shit. So, do y'all feel like each woman, each woman that, that walks this earth, that is birthed into this God green earth, should you know be like? That's So I have to be a content creator, mamas. Um, so y'all know I started my TikTok. So today I'm doing like a get ready with me on um, TikTok, and I'm excited about it. I literally just found like some stuff that I think will go together. So, um, I'm gonna. Well, y'all can kind of head over there to see like how I put my outfit together and the whole nine. But I will be back once I'm dressed, once my hand stuff is done. Um, probably in the car because, yeah, it's 11.20 right now. And I want to be out the house by at least like 12 o'clock. So that if I have to do X, Y, Z, then I can get it going. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Go, go and follow me on TikTok. X dot O dot role model. And, yeah, we're going to get the content rolling today. So, let, let's get it going. Okay, y'all, so I ended up dressed. I ended up putting on my little cute little Mickey Mouse little varsity jacket, this white little top from Target, and then these like 90s jeans. Yeah, that's what they said on the tape from H&M. And I got on my retros. Oh, shit. Let me get my bag. My Palm Angels bag, so. That is the look for today, y'all. I tried to record a TikTok. I don't know if it's going to go up or not, but I said, you know what? Let me just upload this and show them the thing. I am in love with this damn jacket. Like, really? So cute. I took some really, really pretty pictures in here, but I kind of want some, like, outside for whatever reason so i'm gonna take some outside and then i'm probably gonna post um later so yeah tell me what is that from fire fire so um but oh is taking the kids out to the circus later. So I'm gonna drop my baby off some clothes because honestly, everything worked itself out perfectly, y'all. <sighs> everything worked itself out perfectly. Um, So I'm gonna drop my baby off some clothes right now. And then um, I'm gonna grab my friend Tracy and then I'm gonna grab Pinky and then I really think we might go to Lalo. I really do want some Lalo's. I need to stop and get Pinky a car, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I need to stop and get Pinky a car. I don't know why the fuck I didn't get one the other day. Um, so, yeah. That is it. That is all. Should I just start right here first and deal with it? I just really need to get one card. That's it. <laughs> so let me do that. I'm gonna do that first. And then go get them. Bitch, we finna get drunk. Okay, that's cool. I like it. <laughs> that's for one. Sorry, I'm recording, bitch. Oh. You too, Tracy. Tracy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um. <laughs> 
Oh, you said what? Boy, yeah. you asked her where the triple sauce was at? She said, here he got right here. Amazing. That smells so good. Oh, they never been here, so I'm excited. Y'all want to try it? Huh? Bitch, no! <laughs> Tracy, like, yeah. I ain't taking no shot of tequila because they fucking margaritas. It's strong. Chef. Yeah, tequila is, yeah, margarita. Chef, some shots of tequila. Mm. We're gonna be sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kizzy had the phone. You like, I know she had the phone. She kept the plan to me. Oh, you already knew that. Oh, you knew that. Nah, literally. You already knew. That would be the worst part. That shit so lit. You said his what, baby? I don't even really mm -hmm. fuck with watermelon like this. Yeah. One box for this. <laughs> one box for yours. Yeah, one yes. box for me. Yeah. You know what? I want some. No. I'm gonna get some to go too, but I'm gonna kind of put it in after I finish drinking. I'm gonna hold on this. This is gonna be my own. Eat it with my ass. Oh, yeah, you was eating slow. Come on. Why you wanna be coming up here complimenting my bitch on her bed? Oh, thank you. He took the watermelon. Honestly, I'm not even mad at him. I'm not even mad at him because I'm rather that way. Because this thing, look at all of us. I should still feel them. That's what I'm saying. You literally have to give me my props. I grew your hair. Did I or did I not? I got you, girl. I clipped her ear. No trick. So I have to say, the kids just got out of school two hours ago. And we in this. <laughs> we in this bitch gonna go. No, literally. That's why we gonna leave. Yeah, you better come get this check for right now. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. No, literally. Pinky, would you get something to go? Or not? Well, fuck it. We gone. Cause I was sure gonna get something to go, but I'll probably be back by the end of. Well, I'll probably be back by next week. <laughs> no, serious. I'm happy you out. That's why I be trying to let y'all know shit in advance because I know how that shit be securing the baby that I'm telling y'all. I'll be bored. And I ain't gonna lie, this is my first really week, like, being out in her. These people, please. Please stop playing with this over. <laughs> Pinky said, Pinky said, uh, what he said, Pinky said, what y'all doing out here? He said, spend the time together. What he said? And you were like, spend the time together. He asked you that shit was so funny. Oh, Lord Jesus. So, Miss Mama will go every day. Pinky! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you need to do that. Nah, for sure. You gotta listen to your grandma. <laughs> if you don't listen to nobody, you gotta listen to her. We on two. Ooh. Everybody needs to drink water so you can I piss it out coat. at the next. Spice. You need this little drink. A coat. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Spice. Oh, Spice. Spice. Oh, Spice. Spice. Bitch, you know the coat. I was gonna say, I got everything probably but a coat. I might have a coat in that bitch, y'all. You know what I mean? Oh. I knew I should bring my bed. It's not that cold, y'all. <laughs> oh 
shit. <laughs> this shit funny as hell. Why would we get two pictures of them drinks? Not going out shopping in them. Uh, Pinky, that's your bright ass idea, bitch. Why did you get that? It was the watermelon. That watermelon ain't have to be. They ain't gonna lie. That watermelon. They that need to get mango, another flavor. That mango was definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come and eat them for y'all because y'all acting cold. That's the only act. This is cold as hell. The only fucking thing is the watermelon. Oh, let me let you hear that song, Tracy. That shit funny. Girl. Here you go. Listen to the beat though. Your mama's with kids crew, child. Yeah, we gotta get it. We got some hoes. <laughs> we the mama that gotta get it in. Literally. Literally. It's okay. So if I come pick you up a little drunk. drunk. If I throw up. If it's I pick okay. up a little drunk. You say something, huh? Okay. 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 Keep straight. Pinky, keep straight. Yeah, next walk. Next walk. Okay, period. Kitty, don't do that, because your mama have a, had a good day today. <laughs> don't you ruin that. I'll keep it straight? Yeah, no, turn right here, turn right here. Behind this truck. Okay, here it is. See Come on, Faye. Like Come on, Faye. I don't know oh. why the fuck she unlocked the door. Like, I'm finna get out and get that fucking blue bag. Nah, bitch. On, Where the blue bag at? This is blue. What a book bag, Pinky, because if you don't want to get it, I'll get it. Right, that's what probably I'm on the second seat. Hey, TT Wednesday. <laughs> hey, Wednesday. She ain't look for you. She look for you. Where y'all book bag? Bro, this your whole truck. This your whole twist. And grandma truck. Is it your grandma car? Come on, Paul. Fat ass. Hey, girl. Hey, hey mommy. Hey, you so pretty. Come on, get in. Shut the door. Where your jacket and your boo bag? Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. You say you just like your Pinky. I'm screaming. I'm just like my damn dad. <laughs> That's why it should be a Friday. <laughs> just like I did. Just like I A little bit. <laughs> just like I did. <laughs> hey, TT Wendy, you okay? Do you want me to move the water or you okay? How was school? Okay. My baby show been asking about you, girl. When you coming over to play with him? <laughs> <laughs> When did you come over to play with my baby? He been asking about you. She, she literally looked just yeah, like Pinky, like, but she literally looked just yeah. like I did. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> okay, Pinky, where I'm going from here, though? You're on the right. You're okay. The right. What you want? Come on, man. You want some milk? This guy's getting 18 every week. Okay, I'm going to want to get some juice. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, so I am currently on my way. I'm happy that she was turned and living her best life. 
but baby, you gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them. Okay? Nah, but we had such a good time. Um, I cannot wait to, until we do it again. I'm excited for fall. I got a fall haul coming up. I've been getting some cute shit, y'all. I've been getting some really cute stuff. So, I gotta do a fall must have type of thing for y'all. And I'm probably gonna do that this week. Uh, y'all, life been life in, so. I got my two winners for uh, my perfume thing. So it's gonna be either Macy's or Ulta gift card going out. And then I think I'm just gonna send out like random Starbucks, like just little 10, 15 dollar gift cards for y'all. But yeah, I got that under control, but some shit just, <sighs> some shit just fell in my lap. So it's just like, I gotta take care of that first. I'm gonna handle y'all. Like, if I don't do nothing, I'm gonna handle y'all. But life just is always something. So, I don't want y'all to think like I'm playing in y'all face or nothing like that. But, y'all, I ain't made it there yet to get y'all them Birkins. And I ain't made it there yet to be like, you know what? I'm gonna do XYZ. So, yeah. Don't ever think that I'll play y'all though. One thing I am is a woman of my word. So, um, yeah, I'm currently on my way home. I'm so sleepy. I'm just gonna rest my ass for a little bit. I'm pretty sure my baby probably be asleep though when he come home. If my cousin bring him, I hope he do. so that I could just edit it real quick and then put it on TikTok, if you get what I'm saying. I didn't know. I'm so new to TikTok that it's like, uh, I gotta learn something new, but I enjoy TikTok wholeheartedly. I just be looking at everybody fucking TikToks, like, living my best life. My client told me that I was gonna be on there for four or five hours just looking at nothing, and she didn't lie, like, I fall into the rabbit hole. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I've been getting better at curling my hair, though. I'm super happy about that. Because I'm going to curl it today. Because I have my cousin's baby shower to go to Sunday. Um, so, I need it to be real cute and, you know, dainty. The whole nizzle for shizzle, my nizzle. Um, so I got her baby shower to go to Sunday. I didn't even get Pinky her card. So I'm gonna just bring it to her one of these days. I think she said she was off this weekend, so I'm probably gonna pull up on her um Saturday or Friday. But yeah, today was such a good day. I'm super duper happy with how it turned out. <laughs> probably gonna wrap this vlog up right here because of the simple fact I actually might do the phone haul tomorrow yeah I'm gonna wrap this video up right here because I need to record the phone haul I got some cute pieces like like a good seven eight so this would be like part one and if I get some more cute stuff in that'd be like part two love that for us I'm ready to go home and lay, lay my hair back that's what I'm ready to do oh my god y'all I watched um House of the Dragon this week's episode oh bitch the directors the writers the actors did what they needed to do 
work to my fucking night. Nah, for real though. They did what they needed to do. The episode was amazing. I love this episode. This was hands down one of my favorite episodes. In the episode when, um, was that the episode before this? Nope. Not the episode before this. The one before that when, um, when, um, Venera and them, when Venera ran off with her horse and, um, the knight came after her and the, um, brother fought the duel for the war. That was one of my favorites. So, so far, so good with this season. If y'all not fans of Handmaid's Tale, though, I don't know what to tell y'all because the Handmaid's Tale every episode has been amazing but i mean what can we expect like seriously it's a, it's an amazing show but this episode was really good because it just showed you like if you over there and um damn i didn't forget the name of the other little world but if you across the border from canada um shit what is it called I forgot. But you don't stand a chance against the man. Like, you're a woman living in a man's world. And Serena, sweetie, sugar pie, honey bun. Girl. Girl. Uh, I love this episode. June was not fucking around. Like, it was a great episode. If y'all don't watch The Handmaid's Tale, though, please start. Like, I'm begging you. If you like a good series... If you like a good series, I'm telling you, sis, it's five seasons, I believe. Yes, yeah, five seasons. And you need to watch it. Simple. Like, I'm not going to do too much talking. You need to watch it, okay? This TikTok I did today was so funny. Get in the car with me. I've been wanting to do a TikTok to this sound effect for so long. You don't even understand. But yeah, I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm probably gonna wrap it up right here because I'm super duper sleepy. Um, because when I get home, I'm gonna just try to catch me a couple of Z's. Um, but yeah, I love y'all to death. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I just wanna stay as 